Uh, this is a little road we almost wrecked on called Thrill Hill. Me, John Lee, and Greg Johnson were riding down that little highway back there. And all of a sudden, so, I said, John, you better slow down. He said, why? That ladder, that ladder on that truck, it, he, he, it's like he slowed down or something. And that ladder is moving. Something's wrong with it. It's not tied down. You better slow down. So John starts slowing down. All of a sudden, the hand comes out the other side and throws that ladder off in front of us. And all we were doing was coming out here to Thrill Hill. And John was freaking out. He still took me over Thrill Hill. It was pretty scary. We flew over that hill. Somebody's behind me. I got to speed up a little bit. We flew over the hill. I think we go that way over the hill. Maybe we come back this way. I don't remember. I still, we flew over the hill and we come back and I think we went the, this direction because, uh, yeah, this slow, dangerous hill. Dangerous hill. This is Thrill Hill. Thrill Hill. Fly over this thing. You wreck and you die. John Lee took me and Greg Johnson over this thing. It was scary. Look at that. Man, that's Thrill Hill. Crazy. John Lee took us over this. I was wondering where this thing was. Now I know. It's on Cisco Road. Hey, Cisco Systems. That's where Kyle Whaley said he worked. Cisco Systems. No. He carried a badge. He carried a badge. It's illegal to do what you guys did. If you don't want to stand, you get to find out the Lord God is very, very real. I mean, people are witnessing the miracles, but they're doing just like they did at Intel Corporation. They think you can shut me up. No. You left me living in a ditch, guys, in a ditch. You left April living in a ditch. If you can't tell the truth, the Lord God is going to do what he's going to do. No threat from me, guys. No threat from me. All I'm doing is throwing out jelly beans and saying Happy Easter because you guys celebrate the Easter Bunny. That's your fault. Anyway, have a nice day, guys. That was Thrill Hill. Marched around. Buzzards filling the skies already. Lake Murray. Look, you got pay now. Pay up on arrival. Okay. Yeah. Now, I walked around Shoreline Drive in Waco. The whole thing, whole, whole thing. People saw me in tears tears at a cracker barrel because they took my car and gave it to my mother and I was left homeless in Waco for three days and the Lord God led me around Waco the whole place around Waco and eventually on the third day because nobody would help me not one person they just laughed at me people watched me in tears watched me walk all over that city cops watched me walk all over that city all over it not one person would help me nobody I even asked people, I even asked people, I can't film this because there's kids down here, so I'll put the phone over here. They even asked me, they asked me, um, uh, one, 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 one kid came up, hey bud, you okay? You okay bud? Hey man, you okay? And he's laughing. It's not funny. Nobody helped me because I asked them, I said, I said, is there, is there a, uh, is there a bus station? One guy said, yeah, I think it's downtown. You got to cross the big bridge to get there. I said, was there a taxi? And he goes, I got. I asked for phone books. They gave me a phone book. And I'm looking through the phone book and there's a taxi and all the taxis are closed in Waco. There's no taxi service. And I go down and said, well, there's no taxi service because I called with the phone in the hotel and I didn't have a, I didn't have a cell phone. It was in my car. It was in my, the Lord God made me leave it in my car. So I did. So I'm walking around Waco. They, they let me out and I, I walked around Waco. I couldn't get a rental car because you have to have a credit card. They won't take a debit card in Enterprise, at least with me they won't. But they used to do it before because I've done it before and I had money. No, well, you all, you all wouldn't let me have a pickup. They wouldn't have, let me have a van. They said I could have one of the big trucks, the big trucks. I would have wrecked the big truck. I can't drive a big truck like that through Fort Worth. Uh, I mean, nobody would help me. I walked 60 miles around Waco while cops just watched. They do like you guys do around here. Drive up and see me. Look, he's doing it again. The plague's real, guys. You guys are out just celebrating, having a good old time. You're not going to be celebrating when you find out. But trust me, I'm, I'm going to do my probation. I'm going to get off my probation. I'm going to try to get off early. I'm going to try to get off really quick. Because as soon as I'm off probation... I'm leaving the United States of America forever. I'm never returning to this place because everybody is a liar. You just want to enjoy yourselves, drink your beer, play pool, go home to your kids and smile on their face, knowing you're lying to me. 
Either you don't care. None of you care. You're just having a good old time with your own kids. You ruined my life for 23 years with lies. And now you don't want to pay a price. Anyway, this is Lake Murray. Enjoy the tornadoes. Look, look, look you guys are out playing golf and you're at the RV air park and stuff. Just having a good old time, guys. Just remember that. Just remember, when you, you guys promise you're going to try to help save the world and you guys just lie again and you guys are just out enjoying yourselves, the Lord God does not like to be mocked. He warned you. He warned you. Again, no threat from me. The Lord God in heaven is going to punish with animals, insects, weather, and a plague. Just like COVID, but it's a plague. Something that's undeniable from the one and only true living God. <laughs> There's only one God. And, and like Ever Briggs, Ever Briggs said, I, he believes that when you die, you just, you're just dead. You're gone. It's just darkness. No, it's not darkness. No. The Lord God says all souls belong to him. All souls. Doesn't matter. If you don't believe in them, it's your own fault. You're going to hell. You have to accept the Lord Jesus. And to do that, Jesus tells you. You have to follow the commandments, the Ten Commandments. One big one for all of you right now is, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. And every man, woman, and child that I've seen just walks around pretending they don't know what's going on. You're out having your fun at places like that, and you're not doing anything to save my life. You're lying. So, when the Lord God casts this plague upon you, when every person in, in the United States dies knowing the truth, every person in the United States will go straight to a lake of fire. The Lord God tells me that includes the church. The church knows the church won't stand. Those souls, everybody, everybody that goes is on the church. Everybody that goes is on law enforcement. Everybody goes is on everybody who knows the truth and will not tell the truth. It's not my fault. All I'm trying to do is save my own life, the life of my ex-wife, the life of my ex-girlfriend, her son. That's all I'm trying to do. And you guys won't help. You'll let a murderer go free instead of freeing an innocent man from his lies, from the lies you guys are telling and the persecution that you're giving me. Now, Dale Earnhardt is alive. C.R. Ramsey is alive. A lot of people are alive. I'll guarantee you Jason Chastain's alive. Guarantee, I know Skip Edmonds is, because I heard he was walking around saying, oh no, that was, that, that was a mistake in a Lone Grove Ledger. It was just a mistake. No, I'm really alive. That was just a mistake. But I saw it because it said Steve Smith from Lone Grove High School was one of the ball bearers. I saw it. It was in a Lone Grove Ledger. So, I mean, that, that's up to you. If you don't want to tell the truth, you find out the plague's real. And, I mean, one way or another, you're going to a lake of fire. You're going to a lake of fire. Every man, woman, and child that knows, including all the church followers in Lone Grove. Everyone who knows. I'm going to turn it off for now. And then I'm going to show you C.R. Ramsey's grave. I've seen a lot of cars out here. People going out camping. I mean, it's, it's, it's springtime. Look, look at the buzzers filling the skies already. Now, when I left Murray County Jail, there were buzzers filling Murray County. Now, the sheriff saw it. They let me down to, a day early. It really was raining in our cell. <laughs> Just remember, guys, if you know the Lord God is real, you obey the Lord thy God in heaven. If you can't obey the Lord thy God in heaven, the Lord thy God does exactly as he says, just like he did with Moses, just like he did every time he punished King David, just like he did every time he helped King David, just like every, just like Noah. He told Noah, build me an ark out of gopher wood. Noah built an ark out of gopher wood. Noah and his family were the only ones that survived. Now, in Hollywood, they like you to believe that other boats were there. No, it was one ark. One ark. The only ones who survived. It's in Genesis. The only ones who survived were Noah and the people on the ark, which was his family. Uh, you, you can't trust Hollywood. They try to make it exciting. Um, it's just the way it is. Uh, you're not supposed to make up stories. Uh, that's probably what ruined, uh, you know, everybody believing in God and Jesus. Because once you tell your kids um, Easter Bunny's not real and Tooth Fairy's not real, the, well, what else isn't real? What, what about is Santa Claus? Well, Santa Claus isn't real either. Then they don't believe in God. Come on, guys. Once you get proof, you better do something.
turn it off, save some time.